100 people are displaced right now after a fire tears through a Pompano Beach condo. One man was killed and several others had to be taken to the hospital. CBS4's Maribel Rodriguez has been working this story all morning and she joins us now live. Maribel. Well, Lauren, so sad. Fire officials say this could have been prevented or at least a fire could have been put out quicker. They say it was so powerful, dozens of crews responded to help. Intense flames shoot out of a seventh floor apartment in the middle of the night. Flames like pouring out of the window and smoke out of the hallways. On the fifth floor, there was even smoke there, and it was pretty scary. I was in bed asleep, 1.15 in the morning. <clears throat> Fire alarm goes off. It was this pre recorded voice saying there's a fire been reported in the building. Evacuate the building. Do not use the elevator. Residents of the intercoastal towers in Pompano Beach grabbed what they could and got out, but others could not. Many of them on the seventh floor had nowhere to go but turned their balconies for air until rescue crews arrived. The thick black smoke spread from apartment to apartment on that seventh floor. Um, and that, as we know, is deadly. That smoke possibly claiming the life of an 80 year old man who officials say was trapped in his bathroom just a few doors down. Rescue crews were not able to get to him in time. The fire that broke out in apartment 707 was so powerful, dozens of crews from North Broward to Pembroke Pines were called in to help fight the fire and evacuate close to 100 residents. At first, it was a, you could see an orange glow inside the uh, in, in the room, but then uh, flames became apparent. Uh, looked like it was coming from the uh, kitchen living room area, uh, and then uh, it moved over to the uh, bedroom area after a while. According to officials, that resident says she was in the shower, and when she got out, her apartment was on fire. She was able to make it out before it became fully engulfed. A terrifying situation, fire officials say, could have been prevented if the building would have been up to code. In a building like this, if it was uh, equipped with fire sprinklers, those that fire sprinkler system would have held the fire in check or put it out and not allowed it to advance to the extent that it did. I and live pictures right now of apartment 707. We're told it is completely gutted. Now, this is an older building. It was built before the law required all buildings to have uh, sprinklers. We are told by officials they were actually in the initial stages of retrofitting the building with sprinklers. And there you see most of the residents. The Red Cross is here assisting them. They are letting them up a little by little to grab some of their personal belongings. However, they will not be allowed to stay here. Close to 100 residents are in the building, and uh, the Red Cross is assisting. We're told close to 50 of them who say they have nowhere to go. So seven residents were transported to the hospital. Six of them have been released, uh, most of them for smoke inhalation. We're told the building has a lot of water damage, possibly electrical damage, and they will not be allowed to stay here permanently until a full inspection is complete and they determine it is safe for them. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. We're live in Pompano Beach. Maribel Rodriguez, CBS 4 News. Maribel.